Rogue waves, giant, unexpected walls of water that come out of nowhere. They used to be the stuff of ocean lore, but turns out these giants are happening way more often than we thought. Spotted in the North Atlantic, off the coast of Africa. But what about here in Canada? We're out on the water, checking out this data collecting buoy just off the coast of Esquimalt, BC. It's just one of over 40 in Marine Lab's North America wide growing network, watching our coasts and recording rogue waves in real time. Here's why that's a big deal. We thought these rogue waves were once in a thousand year events, but these buoys have recorded almost 400 rogue waves in the past six years, all of them over three meters tall. One of them back in 2020 was higher than a six story building. So this rogue wave was measured off of Euclid near Tofino. There was a 17 and a half meter wave that came by and that's for context, about six stories. But the unusual thing about it was that it was in the background waves that were six meters was the highest ratio ever recorded. And so we needed to go and double and triple check that. I've always been fascinated by these so-called freak waves. Technically, they fall into the category of natural disasters like hurricanes, tsunamis, or tornadoes. But because rogue waves are so rare, we have so little data on how they work. They weren't even recognized by scientists until just a few decades ago. But here's what we've got. These waves are at least twice as tall as the surrounding waves. They're unpredictable, and they can come from unexpected directions, often against prevailing winds and swells. You need a whole cocktail of factors to come together. Wind, swell, currents. It's a chaotic, non-linear wave interaction where one wave will suddenly gather energy from others and explode in size. You can only imagine what that means for any vessels out on the water. When you get multiple storm events that happen and bring waves from different directions that all kind of superpose together, in those cases, sometimes that's called confused seas. There is more opportunity for rogue waves because what happens is these different waves from different directions tend to superpose and add together, creating more often, more likely to have rogue waves. While we still can't predict rogue waves, AI tools and live sensor data can trigger early warnings one day, flag extreme events and improve forecasts over time. I think that there is a lot of interesting science that's happening by collecting more data along coastlines. There's ways to cross section all of that analysis and understand how many rogue waves exist and what are the factors that drive them. So I think the likelihood of Rogue waves, it's kind of like avalanches in the sense that you don't know exactly when one will happen, but there are factors that lead into the probability of them, and that is definitely predictable. This is data that helps marine pilots, ferry operators, and ports adjust their routes, dock safely, and avoid costly disruptions, or worse. In 2015, a rogue wave off the coast of Tofino capsized and sunk the whale-watching boat Leviathan II leaving six people dead and underscoring just how dangerous these giant rogue waves can be. Rogue waves used to be a myth. Today, we're spotting them more often, and tomorrow, maybe, we'll be ready for them.